In this video, I have taken this question from MCA uh, calculus paper of, I think, 2009. Uh, so this is MCEA level 2 calculus 2009. Okay, this is question number 1, so I don't want this thick. So let me use a brighter color. So what's the question? The diagram below shows the graph of y is, y is equal to f of x. So this is a function, y is equal to. So this is y is equal to f of x. Okay, we don't know the equation of this function. It looks to be a cubic equation. On the axis provided, clearly sketch the graph of the gradient function y is equal to f dash x. So what they, what they are saying is, this is your function. This is your relationship between y and x. And you want to find the gradient function. You want to draw the gradient function just underneath it. Okay, now, when you want to find the gradient function, the gradient function is the rate of change. So if you look at this part of the graph, you're thinking of what's the gradient at this point. Okay, so well, you say you're talking about a gradient of a line. So if you draw a line, suppose let me draw a straight a line here. The gradient of this line is positive. Yeah, when that, if you if you come to this point, the gradient is uh, of this line is less positive. Okay, so if you come here, it's again less positive. When it comes here, it becomes. If you draw a line, the gradient is zero. So in this part of the graph, the gradient is positive, but it's becoming less and less positive when it comes here it becomes zero so to draw the graph of this part the gradient of till here suppose let us take some so yeah what we are saying is at this point the gradient will become zero okay so this is gradient is zero and before this point before this point the gradient is positive but it's becoming less and less positive. So here, yeah, how will you draw the graph? So the graph would be somewhat like this. So it's positive, but less and less positive. And now it becomes zero. So here, yeah, this is this part of the graph. It's positive, less positive, less positive, and becomes zero. Now from here, if you draw the gradient of this point, at this point, the gradient is is negative here okay so it's negative and when it comes here it will again become zero here okay so here at this point you can say at this point the gradient will become again will hit again zero here now there's an interesting point here which is called you will learn this next year if you're learning calculus this is called the point of inflection I'll not go into detail. So what's happening here, the gradient, if you look at this point, it's negative. Okay. Uh, this is negative, negative. So it will slowly becoming, become less negative. Okay. Or uh, you can say it will become more and more positive. And from here, the rate of change from negative, it is going towards positive. Here it is negative. Again, here also it is negative. But it is moving towards zero. That means when you think of the gradient at this point and this point, they both would be negative, but this is moving towards zero. That means this is becoming less negative. Okay, this is a bit difficult to understand. This is negative all along from year to year, it's negative. But till year, from year, the negative will become less negative that means you're moving towards positive so this is from this point the gradient starts increasing so somewhere here here we can see the gradient goes so here so i'll drop uh, let me draw a line here uh, this is a crucial here so this is will i drop a line here so here to draw the graph so it's, it's, uh, it's something you have to understand intuition. At this point, from this point, the gradient will become, so here this is the gradient. 
So, this will become 0 from here it will become negative, it will become negative, negative and let me draw it better. So, here what I am saying is this is 0, it is becoming less negative and here it will become from this point this is negative, here also it is negative. Now, from here this point this will start increasing, it will becoming so it will go up like this. So, from here the graph will go up. So, this is a crucial point somewhere roughly here and this point just for sake of interest this point is a very crucial point in calculus called the point of inflection. I'll inflection yeah. So, yeah if you think in a different way now this is a parabola this is a cubic equation and this is a parabola ok. So, here at this point this is 0 and this is 0. So, that is why I put the gradient 0 here. So, the gradient is 0 here and 0 here. In this branch of the graph it is becoming it is positive this is positive this is less positive. So, this is positive less positive becomes 0 and here this is 0 and become negative ok. Uh, you can say more negative, more negative and year from year from this point it's become it will stop becoming more negative. It will become start becoming more positive ok. That is a difficult concept to understand because this is negative and this is also negative, but here this from here the rate of change is going towards 0 ok. You if you think of a number line ok. So, for 0 this is 0 and this is some number negative 2, say this is negative 3. Negative 2 is more positive than negative 3, <laughs> both are negative, but here you can see negative 2 has a greater value than negative 3. So, here as though they both may have the same gradient, this is moving towards positive and this is moving towards negative ok. So, this is 0, and from here the rate of change starts increasing from the this and this may have both the same negative gradient, but this is move, moving towards 0 and this from here this the rate of change increases. So, this is the graph see you in the next one.